All right, this is an updated video on uh, my helmet logo a file for Blender for uh, Pro Strategy uh, 2023. And uh, I wanted to update it and uh, do a little better job this time um, because I've kind of tinkered around with the file and uh, streamlined it a bit. So I thought I'd do a little bit better job of showing how it's supposed to work. So I should have the link posted somewhere to download it. Um, but when you uh, go to it, it'll bring you here. Just download it. And I downloaded it to my downloads file. And um, Blender, install it wherever you want. Um, I just installed it to my downloads folder for you know the sake of this um, video but you know you can install it however you want but the link to the blender releases I uh, should have that posted also and uh, the one you want is this one down here it's the 3.41 and the zip is the easiest one. These are the two windows installed. Well, actually, I don't know what the heck that is. Um, but the MSI is just a Windows installer. But the zip is the game. Uh, the app uh, Blender is. All you have to do is uh, extract it to wherever you want it, and it's ready to go. You just have to shortcut to uh, you know the Blender executable, and uh, it's ready to go. You don't have to do any installing. This is just a uh, kind of a what do they call it a portable install it's just the program ready to run in a uh, zip file and all you would do is once you've installed it you know or, or extracted it to wherever you want it to be um, this is where you'd make your shortcut to blender.exe just right click and send to desktop or however you make shortcuts and once you download my blend files that I created for doing the logos just drag the projects to folder into your blender folder and you'd have this down here this is the old one so uh, I keep it just in case somebody's still using it but projects 2 is the new one it says just drag uh, drag that whole folder to your blender install and you'll be ready to go so when you open blender Previously, I had it where when you open Blender, my file loaded automatically. I really wish I hadn't have done that. I don't know. If, I don't think this new one does that. But if it does, my apologies. But if if it does, it's there. If it doesn't, then all you have to do is go to File, um, Open, and then you know go to your uh, install. It's just like any other program. You just navigate, you know, here's your shortcuts, just wherever you, like I downloaded it to downloads, and then there it is. And then Projects 2, click that, open, and it's ready to go. Now one version I had did have little squares up here that I was using for alignment, and um, I removed them because they were showing up in the game like, as little artifacts in it. Uh, it looked a little crazy so I went ahead and removed them so if you've already created some look at the uh, render and see if that little gray square is in the top left and the bottom right if it is you'll have to cut it out my apologies um, if you don't want to re-download the file and let me let me create one real quick and show you how to get rid of it mesh plane Rotate 90 on the X. And basically this is what it looked like. You would see a little gray square up here, and then you'd see a little gray square down here. Um, in the version I uploaded, I have everything locked, but what you can do is go over to this thing right here, and if don't mess with the camera, but if you click on each one of these, then go down to this orange square, click on that, and then click on uh, visibility where it says selectable. Just 
it should, if it's unchecked, that means it's locked and you can't select it, just click it and then it's now unlocked and that way you'd be able to select it. So if you go to each one of these and whichever ones are unchecked, you check them where it says selectable, you're turning them back on so that you could actually select them. And as you click on them and hit selectable, you'll notice they show up with a little line around them. So what you can do is once you have them all um, selectable, and there should, yeah, I think the little squares were both plain 12, if I'm not mistaken. Not 100% sure, but I think they were plain 12. So in the if you have the original version uh, before I replaced it, um, look for plain 12 and make sure it's selectable, and then you could just go and select it. And when it's got the little orange around it, just tap the delete button. And I think they both were plain 12. Um, but if not, just go through each one of these until. Um, you know you see this highlighted and then hit delete but you can just go download the new one I uploaded I think it's the same link as before but I'll include it um, in the video so if you don't want to have to go through all that uh, you don't have to but anyway basically with this you don't really have to touch any of this this is all set up and ready to go and the only things here you really need to worry about are these little circles up here. These just allow you to look uh, to see uh, the texture on the little uh, helmet. So this one here is um, a material preview and you can use your mouse wheel to scroll close. Um, this background of the little player is just there for uh, just for visuals just so you can look. Um, it doesn't render out as if you go down here the UVA white jersey is what it's called if you click on it you'll see the visibility is is uh, unchecked and uh, there's also a setting where it doesn't render but don't really remember where that's at but it's it should already be set but um, this is just for alignment and to look at it it doesn't render in the final uh, image and this one right here is the render setting and it'll get rid of the black part. The black part's just there because it's not showing you the transparency. But if you click this one and wait a second, you'll see it. This is the rendered view and now you'll see your <clears throat> logo on the side of the helmet and the black's gone because you're seeing the transparency. And that's pretty much how it's going to render out, just minus the background guy. And then you take your render and, you know, lay that over top of your team's uniforms as a layer in PaintNet or PaintShop Pro or Photoshop whatever you use and that's it so you don't like I said you don't have to touch any of this stuff this is just uh, for you visually as far as um, doing each one you would go to whatever paint program you use go into that that folder you, you downloaded and this is the template and um, you would just put a um, your logo over top of this just whatever program you use create a layer so now you have the top layer is you know nothing and then the bottom layer is this and um, find a logo And then you'd have to, and this is at 100%, and you'd have to sh shrink this one down to fit. Great thing about PaintShop Pro is it lets you just scroll the wheel mouse, wheel mouse, the mouse wheel down to uh, look at different sizes. So that looks pretty good. The top ones are the um, this these two up here are what would be put on that little 3d helmet that I had to rotate for those odd angles and these two down here are the ones that go on the helmets that are directly from the left and right 
and there's a slight difference in the size so you might want to make depending on the logo or what you want to do you might want to make the bottom a little bit smaller uh, just to fit inside the outline but this top one up here you can make it a little bit bigger so let's see that's six percent so image resize and I'm doing it by percent so six so make sure you're on your top layer and just paste and you can paste as a layer in uh, paint shop pro but I'm since I already have a layer there I'm pasting as a new selection and just line it up somewhere make it as close as possible. I mean it's so small in the game you hardly see it. Now let me see this might be too big for the ones down here. Mm, not too bad. Yeah, that fits. And um, let's see. There. So the bottom layer you would turn off and then you would file save as and then this helmet texture PNG is what's going to show up in uh, Blender. So you would just click and then save and it says replace it yes. So minimize that and right now if you even though it's still showing the tiger it's uh, if you hit render right here up at the top you hit render render image you'll see that it's showing the the skull and crossbone because it's it's loading the image that's that we just saved that just means the uh, interface hasn't updated yet and let me see there is a way to do it I think if you look at these top tabs here go to UV editing <coughs> You'll see you should see helmet texture here. Go to image and reload. And then you'll see the, the skull and crossbone pop up and it should reload it for all of them. And this is you don't have to do this part if you don't want to, the whole reload. Um, that's just if you want to look at it in here. Um, and if you grab these, win put your mouse right over the center of these two windows and left click and hold, you'll see those two arrows. You can drag either way. So if you want to, if you don't want to sit here and scroll to make this go left and right, so you can change it to the rendered view. But that if you like, to, if you want to look at it that way, you can. But again, the only thing you really had to do in this is hit. Um, render and render image so hit render image and we'll sit here and wait for it to finish and you'll see it counting counting up here um, and it tells you the remaining time a minute and something it goes faster than the ticker uh, it renders out in like four sections it'll do one section the next section this one and then this one some in some order uh, it doesn't take very long and it's only rendering where there's actually an image so it's these little tiny things so it doesn't take long at all and when it's done you'll see all that go away and then you just see this it tells you how long it took 39 seconds so now that you have this all you do is go to image save as and here you can do whatever you want. I have the output folder, but you can you can create your own folder. It doesn't matter. But go to output, and I just save it as whatever it is. Like I already did ones for my league, and this one would have been the pirates. So you would just down here, you know, type pirates, and you don't have to put the PNG. It'll it knows to save it to it up here. Um, so if this, for any reason, this doesn't say PNG, um, click on it and select it, but it should. 
whatever settings I have this set up to, it should load. Um, it should stay with the blend file. So you should be all set up and I have to change that. But anyway, um, like I said, once you've created the helmet texture for whatever team, you know, you save it as helmet underline texture PNG. Then you go into Blender and um, you hit render image. And then once it's rendered, then you hit image, you know, save as, and then this will pop up, and then you name it and save it. And that is that's it. You now you've created a team. <clears throat> and if you notice in that render, the player didn't show up. It it it's set to uh, to not render. So um, that's it, really. I mean, those are basically the only steps you have to do. And like here's my output folder, and these are all of my all of my teams. You know, these are the rockets and sabers, blah blah blah. But anyway, once you've created those, then you go into your image editing program and you go to the Pro Strategy folder, Pro Strategy Football 2023. Um, images your league and then go to uniforms and then I just did pirates so that's who I'm looking for and there should be six three sleeve lengths for color and three sleeve lengths for uh, the white jerseys you know home and away however you do it um, now unfortunately I had already put the circles on these helmets uh, so I'm gonna have to redo all of my uniforms again but that's for another day. So now that you have that, go back to where you saved that render. And I had it in the output, and it is Pirates. Load that. And they're here. They're kind of faint, but you can see them. They're there. There's my little, little guys. So you just copy this. And then edit, paste, um, as new layer is the best way to do it, because that way you can uh, move things around and make sure that layer is selected. And then, you know, depending on whatever paint program you use, you know, whatever tool you use to move it around, but grab that very first one and you just drag and it should drag the whole thing some paint programs you might have to select all I don't know it depends but uh, paint shop pro you don't but I'm able to move them all and they should all be lined up so if you line that first helmet up the rest of them should be lined up too um, these here uh, are a little bit wonky they're uh, Some of the players are at kind of a weird angle, and it was really hard to line up um, the logo because you're lining up a 3D um, rendered image from an actual 3D helmet onto a 2D image that's um, simulating a 3 uh, uh, an angle. Like this one was kind of tough um, because that's that's not a straight from the back or straight from the side it's an angle but by and large I think they look pretty good um, the, um, the little helmets like I get or the dots I have to get rid of that but that's pretty much all you do and then you would just hit save um, and that's ready for the game and then this is the no sleeves so then you would have to go back to um, you know your uniforms folder I would probably open them all up at once um, instead of keep going back and forth so you know open the that one and open this one and this is I think that's the short sleeve and then the one I just opened before is long sleeve yeah that's long sleeve and then you would do the same thing and then you'd open up the, you know, make sure you open all the visitor uniforms. The white jerseys. There's three of them, so there's six per team. You know, open all three of them up. Oh, that 
what's the sabers? Oh, I got off track. But you know what? I, you get what I'm doing here. You know, you have six six different uniform uh, or six different images for the uh, uniforms. Open them all up and then layer your little logos on top and uh, adjust them so that they're lined up the way you want them. And that's it. Just save. And you would be done. And that is pretty much it. I am working on um, the render to try to make them a little more, uh, to stand out a little bit more. Um, I might have to do with contrast. You might could adjust the contrast in whatever program you're using, image program. But overall, they still look good. I, I like it better than not having anything. But uh, I think I covered it all there. Uh, if there's any questions, let me know.